What is going on, beautiful motivated familia? Hope you're all doing incredibly well. I uh, I was really guided to make this video today because it has been on my mind. It has been on my energy frequency to get this out there and just pump this thing out into the universe, so to speak. And I'm really excited to be here with you right now. So I really just want to go ahead and dive right into this which is talking about my recent update with Moldavite and Scenic Retention, which is going incredibly well. I am now around nine months and just keep going strong. I'm just keep going strong, just like, mm. And so I must say, guys, there have been noticeable differences just within this past month. And even as I'm speaking right now, I am uncovering new ones as we continue to progress but here are some of the main ones that I've noticed just this month alone and in this new year. And let's go ahead and kick it off, okay? So, number one, I get irritated by demonic energy. Now, what do I mean by that, okay? I'm sure you guys, you guys are very spiritual. You guys have probably know about, you know, negative entities, positive entities. You know, you got your angels, you got your demons, right? Well, Let's just say as of recent recent times and just things that are happening right now, I can now be really aware of people's demonic energies, people who already have demons inside of them. I can feel that energy and it irritates me. Um, it irritates my sexual energy. Like it, it's like, it's cringe. There's a cringe feeling like, ugh, like almost like dirty. Um, like just stay away from me, kind of cringe because I can feel that um, those demons inside people, and I notice that they can feel my light, they can feel the presence of God on me. So anytime I walk into a room and there's demons, they scatter like cockroaches, right? They don't like my presence because I do walk with the Holy Spirit, I do walk with the Spirit of God, and so it irritates me just as much as it irritates them. And so there's like this constant battle. So that's something that I've noticed very, very more this time around and have and continue to notice it more as I continue this journey on Moldova enhancing the attention. Now, moving through that, you know, the more that this energy contains itself, I have this volcanic energy where it comes in waves where it'll just feel like I'm ready to explode and I got to channel this energy into something. And it pushes me, guys. It's pushing me to, to just go above and beyond my comfort zone. It's actually guiding me. And just like when you program Moldavite, you can program your sexual energy. Like, for example, I program my sexual energy for the purpose of God's purpose. So initially for God's purpose, I, I, I am channeling it towards that arena, channeling it for that higher divine assignment. And so with that being said, anything that needs to, to, to go will go. Anything that I need to push through and bulldoze through, it's already happening. And it's just, it's just this extra fuel that gives you like energy to accomplish anything you need in your walk. So that's another thing I've noticed is just having that energy guide you like a magnet pulling you where you need to go in God's will. Next, I definitely feel more relaxed. I'm not in a rush. I am enjoying life, realizing I don't have to stress myself out with something that's due like a two, three months from now. I don't need to get it all done the next day. I can just get it done. In a, t a timely fashion without stressing out about it. Um, like I said, I'm more relaxed, more calm. Another thing I've been noticing, guys, is I can read people like books, you know, because when you're doing semen retention the right way, you know, you're not only building up that sexual energy, but you start eating right, you start going sober, no drinking, no smoking, you start meditating more. That's something else I've been noticing. I've just been wanting to meditate more to circulate all this energy within me and <clears throat> really just feel it and learn to play with it, learn to work with it, seeing what else I can do with it. And 
as you continue to do that, the clearer your energy becomes. When you walk and you feel others' energies, you can read it so easily because you're this clean vessel, right? So if you're, if you're a clean vessel, you can tell, tell when other people aren't clean, you can almost feel all their sins that weigh them down. It's the craziest feeling ever, but it's something I've been noticing recently. Like, um, um, I can walk around someone, and if they have a bad intent, like they're going to go steal a car or they're going to lie, like I can feel that before they, I can feel it. And I look at them, and, I, and they are aware that I can feel it, and they, they feel bad about it. Maybe they don't, but like I'm aware of it. And I'm like, if you're about to go hurt somebody, go steal something from someone, I hope you get caught kind of thing. Like, you will be punished, you know? And it's just that weird vibe, guys. It's it's so weird. But I'm, I'm getting to enjoy it. It's a, it's a new experience. And um, I hope as you guys continue your journey as well doing this, that um, you experience that at one point or another. Also, my body is adjusting. So sometimes that means with new energy, sometimes I have some aches here and there. Um, it's just part of the process. You know, it's kind of like when you're growing. I don't know if you guys remember ever having a growth spurt where your knees and your elbows start to hurt. You know, your body's just adjusting to a new way of being. So it's just part of the process. Maybe you need to sleep a little more or maybe you have a lot of energy at times, you know, or you just feel like sore. Um, like you just gone to a gym, had a really good workout, but just realize that it's normal. Drink lots of water, eat fruit, um, and veggies that'll help you get through it. And of course, you know, take a nap if you need to. Also, I feel a lot stronger, man. The gains at the gym are insane. Like, yeah, it's, it's on a whole new level when you can channel that energy to lifting up something heavy. I mean, you'd be surprised how much you could lift. Okay, like, just saying. Um, also, uh, it also gives you like a protective barrier. I don't know why, but like, if you learn how to use your sexual energy to to really like, in like, let it invoke and like surround your aura, it is like a protective barrier. Um, you know, when I'm out walking on the streets, sometimes I'll dress really nice, and of course, I always know that God is protecting me. But I also have this layer of sexual energy that I'm learning to play with that can push away enemies, push away people that may want to hurt me. And it's like having your own bodyguard almost. Um, it just scares them away. And you have to obviously learn how to direct it, which I'm not going to share in this video today, maybe in the future, who knows. But when you learn to direct that energy, you can protect yourself. You can do spiritual warfare you know, spiritual battle, so to speak, right where you're at, and destroy your enemy, destroy the demons, destroy Satan, so to speak, in in that moment. So that's just something that I've been noticing. Um, and yeah, this, it, like I said, it's it's new. <laughs> also, guys, um, the energy just feels so good inside my body. When I start to meditate, it's like. Um, Gosh, it's like I'm addicted to my own drugs, so to speak. Like, um, sometimes I know when I'm when I have a lot of sexual energy running through me, I'll get cravings for sugar, and when that happens, I know I know I need to start circulating that energy, um, because that's just that's just me. I just know myself enough to know that I'd rather eat a little bit of sugar or have like an iced tea versus doing drugs or watching porn. Or doing things I'm not supposed to because honestly, guys, when you do that, you're sacrificing the whole reason for doing semen retention. Like, this is like it. This is like the secret to life. And if you have the cojones, you know, the balls, or like the women that are watching, if you got the eggs, if you got, you know, the willpower to go through this and do it the right way, man. <sighs> I just have so many stories of things that, oh, you guys, you guys just, yeah. I don't even know if I can share like a lot of this stuff, but you know what? I'm just letting God guide me today. All right. So aside from that, let's see. Um, yeah, you could program your sexual energy like I was talking about before. 
Um, sometimes this is the last thing I'm gonna end on, guys. It's like sometimes your mind as it as it it's adjusting depending on how long you did drugs or alcohol or watch porn. Um, sometimes you'll go through like seasons where your mind seems kind of foggy and like where it's kind of hard to think because your mind is adjusting again. But there's also times when you get cl- clarity where you're just like so witty. You just, you're just on top of it. You come up with creative Einstein ideas. And that is insane. But... I really just want to leave you guys with that. I already, I just thought of more things that I want to share in this video, but it's already getting too long. So guys, stay tuned for my next video. Hopefully you are all having a glorious and wonderful day today. Know that I always send you guys so much love. Stay strong with the senior retention. Pair it up with that mold divide. You'll see if you get outlasted, man, if you can keep going, You'll you'll reap the rewards. So, like I said, send you guys lots of love. Talk to you guys very, very soon. See ya.